Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Today's question is, what is the difference between psychotic depression and non-psychotic depression? So if we look at the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual, we see there is a classification, a diagnosis, of major depressive disorder. Within major depressive disorder, there are severity specifiers. One of those specifiers is MDD with psychotic features. We would refer to this as psychotic depression. And all of the other specifiers of MDD would be non-psychotic depression. So it's important to understand this distinction between psychotic depression and non-psychotic depression really has to do with what specifier is endorsed inside of the diagnosis major depressive disorder. So when we look at psychotic depression, we see that about 15% of individuals diagnosed with MDD would qualify as having it. And in the inpatient population, about 25% of individuals with MDD would have psychotic depression. Now, looking at that same population, inpatient, when we look at individuals who are 60 years or older, it can be as high as 50% of individuals with MDD have psychotic depression. So psychotic depression is quite common, and of course, it's quite problematic. And it has different challenges and symptoms associated with it than we see with non-psychotic depression. So now looking at the differences between psychotic depression and non-psychotic depression, we see that with psychotic depression, there is an elevated risk of the disorder converting over into bipolar disorder, particularly if there's an early onset of psychotic depression. Also, relatives of individuals who have psychotic depression have a higher prevalence of bipolar disorder. An individual who has parents with bipolar disorder has an increased risk for psychotic depression, but not for non-psychotic depression. So we see some key differences here between psychotic depression and non-psychotic depression around the area of bipolar disorder. So again, this really speaks to this debate that these two constructs are really separate classifications, more so than just a different specifier within a diagnosis. But still, there are other differences. We see symptom differences as well. With psychotic depression, we see an increased depression score overall when compared to non-psychotic depression. And again, this is not for any one particular individual, but the population, or at least the samples that have been taken of the population that have been included in research studies. We also see specific symptoms that are more endorsed with psychotic depression than non-psychotic depression, like depressed mood, anxiety, paranoia, and hypochondriasis. We also see that within psychotic depression, there's an increased duration of the major depressive episodes, and there's an increased risk of recurrence. Other differences with psychotic depression include decreased memory, decreased levels of attention, and decreased executive functioning. Now, with some of these studies, it's a little difficult to interpret the results because an individual with psychotic depression would be quite likely to be on antidepressants. And we don't know what contribution the antidepressants make to memory, attention, and executive functioning. So that could play a part as well. So it may not just be the psychotic depression, it may also be the medication that plays a part in the differences we see there. Psychotic depression is also considered more difficult to treat than non-psychotic depression. Now there's an ongoing debate about whether psychotic depression is really different enough from non-psychotic depression to be a separate diagnostic category. And one of the main reasons this debate continues is because a number of the differences that I talked about in this video, for example, aren't always consistently observed between these two potential classifications. It's still important, however, to recognize the differences that are observed and the differences that are agreed upon at this point between psychotic and non-psychotic depression, as these can have important implications for treatment. I hope you found this description of psychotic and non-psychotic depression to be interesting. Thanks for watching.